Hello, my name is Sam Jenkin, and I'm Director of Operations at Tech Impact. Today I'm going to be giving you an overview of the five licenses that are offered to you by Microsoft as part of the Office 365 nonprofit offering. I want to start by discussing the things that are included with all Office 365 plans. Those include document collaboration in OneDrive for Business for your personal files for things that are just for one user, and document collaboration among multiple people in SharePoint Online includes the Office web app so that you can modify files in a web-based version of Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and OneNote. It includes a 50 gigabyte mailbox with Exchange Online. So that's 50 gigabytes of storage for your email, calendars, and contacts. And it includes social collaboration with Yammer. All of that is included with all of the plans. Also included is an SLA or a service level agreement Microsoft guarantees that Office 365 will be available 99.99% .99 of the time. You're not going to do better than that with an on-premise server. And also 24-7 technical support. So that means that you as an administrator can pick up the phone and call Microsoft anytime you want. If we take a look at the Office 365 Business Essentials Plan, it does include all of that functionality I just discussed. I want to mention that this particular license is limited to 300 users. So if you have more than 300 users, this is not a good fit for you. In that case, you would simply move up to the Office 365 Nonprofit E1 plan. And that E1 or Enterprise plan includes everything in Business Essentials and also includes unlimited seats. So you can have as many users as you would like to have in Office 365. And that is a real commitment from Microsoft. As many employees as you have, Microsoft will give you free E1 licenses. So let's move on and talk about some of the offerings that are available to nonprofits at a discount. The first is Office 365 Nonprofit Business Premium. This particular license, like the Business Essentials, does have a 300 seat limit. So you can only have up to 300 seats for this particular license. You can see that added into this license from the Business Essentials is the mobile apps and the Office desktop applications. What that means is that you are getting a copy of Microsoft Office that you can use on your local computer and in the mobile app at a subscription model. So every month you pay that $2 per user per month and you get access to Office 2016 for your local machine, and Excel and Word and PowerPoint for your mobile device. Next up is the Office 365 Nonprofit E3 license. So this license does not have any limit in the number of licenses that you can have. So again, the Business Premium is limited to 300, and the E3 is unlimited licenses. You'll note that this includes everything in the Nonprofit Business Premium. Something very critical that is not included in this chart that I want to mention is that the E3 license includes some significant security benefits over the free E1 license. That includes data loss prevention, end-to-end -end email encryption, and file encryption. Moving on, let's take a look at the Office 365 nonprofit E5 license. This is a new license that is available to nonprofit organizations. The main thing that's added to the E5 licenses is integration with phone systems. And that takes two main paths. The first is that you can set up video conferences and audio conferences where users can dial in using a phone. So if you're using any of the other licenses, Skype for Business is included, and you can set up a conference that can include people inside and outside of your organization. But everyone would need to be using audio through their computer. So they would need to have a headset or speakers and a microphone on their machine. With the E5 license, you can add a dial-in conference number so that some users can dial in using their phones and others can use audio on the computer and everyone can hear each other. The other thing that's included is something called Cloud PBX. And what that allows you to do is it allows you to assign extensions to individual users, and you can actually call each other using Skype for Business the same way you would with a traditional phone system. The other thing that's included with the E5 license is Advanced Threat Protection, which provides advanced email scanning functionality to keep your users safe. I wanted to take another look quickly at the difference between the three different E or Enterprise plans. Again, the E1 license is free. 
the E3 license is $4.50 per user per month, and the E5 license is $10 per user per month. So you'll see that with the E3 license, the Office Desktop app and the mobile apps are included, but there's also a great deal of other functionality that's included. Usually organizations that are more compliance driven or security driven, organizations that need to comply with various federal or local regulations are going to be the ones that are purchasing E3 licenses. So if that's you, then you might want to take a close look at this. So with the E3 licenses, we're including unlimited mailbox and legal hold. The legal hold is very important. It allows you to place a mailbox in a status where deleted items are not permanently removed. So you can go back and get them. And that might be important if you're ever involved in any litigation. Data loss prevention, which allows you to make sure that users are not sending confidential or privileged information outside of your network, and that they're not saving files with privileged information into insecure locations in SharePoint or OneDrive. File preservation and e-discovery, so that you can make sure that files that are deleted or modified aren't permanently removed from the system and you can go back and get them no matter how long it's been. And then online info path form completion, which is a, a somewhat esoteric feature of SharePoint that some organizations that are migrating from SharePoint on-premise may require. The E5 license takes all of that security and adds in the advanced threat protection, the dial-in conferencing, and advanced delve and analytics. And that is a somewhat new functionality of Office 365 that gives you some capabilities to better understand how your users are spending their time and what they're doing. The mobile applications and the Office desktop applications can be added to the E1 license along with some of the other functionality. So if you only need some pieces of the E3 license, you may not need to pay $4.50. You may be able to simply add that on to the E1 license. So if we take a look at this slide, the most common add-on is that online archiving add-on. That gives users an unlimited mailbox and gives you the ability to place that mailbox on legal hold so that you can go back and retrieve deleted or modified email if you ever need to. You can also add on that Office Pro Plus, so that is the downloadable Office to your desktop. It also includes the mobile applications for $2 per user per month. So if you just need the Office licenses, you can actually get an E1 license and add that $2. If you're interested in the advanced threat protection for advanced email scanning, that's $0.65 cents per user per month. You can add that on to an E1 license as well, or to an E3 license. I also mentioned that dialing phone numbers and receiving calls from other people on their phones with Skype for Business requires an add-on to the E5 license. And that add-on is $12 for domestic calling and $24 for international calling. And that price is per user per month. Finally, I wanted to mention some other services that are available to you as part of the Office 365 family. The first is something called Enterprise Mobility Suite. This allows you to manage your Windows machines and your mobile devices remotely. Do remote wipe, make sure that they are encrypted, make sure that users are using them properly, even install software remotely. Dynamic CRM is an online constituent relationship management system that allows you to track your contacts and your grantees and your grantors in an online database. Power BI is a very powerful web-based visualization tool. You can connect this to an Excel spreadsheet or that old Access database you're still using. And you can create very powerful web-based visualizations that anyone can view. That's it for this video. We hope this has been helpful. Please let us know if you do have any questions.